All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. It is time for another review and a really cool one from my friend Ben over at Jack Wolf Knives. But first, say hello to these other friends of mine, Ren and Stimpy, Powder Toast Man Log, and TV. And let's get started. This, guys, is my review of the Jack Wolf Knives Benny's Clip. Now, these go on sale on September 8th, September 16th, 2022 at 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific at all the dealers. Now, if you go uh, to jackwolfknives.com, you can see a list of the dealers they will be in. It's the same ones he's been with uh, pretty much all along. There are international deal dealers. There are American dealers. And um, they will have these. Now, before I get too deep, I'm just going to tell you, uh, this one is the green micarta version. There is also a, um, a natural micarta version. Excuse me. There's a green and a black. I'm sorry. There's no natural on this one. There's a green micarta and a black micarta, and those are going to be 275. And then there is a blue fat carbon and, and a, um, green toxic camo carbon, which is a different company than fat carbon. And those cover materials are going to be two. 99 so 300 dollars each but we're gonna we're gonna click on the uh, green one here so i can read you specs and we're gonna show that one off now of course comes with this leather slip we showed that in the unboxing um it comes in the jack wolf box with the modern interpretation of the timeless design and the story of jack wolf knives um i've showed that before and all of them come in these great uh I guess steel, aluminum, I don't know, cans. Um, and in the cans, you've got uh, the artwork uh, with uh, Jack Wolf, and in this case, our buddy Benny. Now, this is called the Benny's Clip. And of course, Ben is our guy over at Jack Wolf Knives, and uh, he's got the same hat I'm wearing today. And he's just looking cool, man. He's looking a little like he could put some weight on, but he's looking pretty cool. Um, but yeah, these, these tins have the design on them. These are the collector's tins and they're done by Sean Tiffany, who is a Marvel artist. Uh, you get the big giant, uh, cleaning cloth, uh, and you also get, let's leave it where you can see Benny there. And, uh, you get the awesome, awesome cleaning, I mean, uh, Pog, excuse me, Jack Wolf Knives, Benny, Benny's clip. And then you get this sweet sticker, whoops that I dropped way over here on the floor, so you're just gonna have to wait a second. There we go. This is uh, the Oil the Joint sticker, Jack Wolf Knives. Look at that sticker. And like I said, Benny Benny could use to put a couple pounds on. I don't, I don't know, he's, he's looking a little rough. So you guys just, uh, maybe maybe uh, uh, Mateo can send him some M-bomb jerky just to help him out there a little bit. This is the green canvas micarta. Now, um, what I didn't do, let's do this real quick, and thankfully they're really easy to get to, is I've got all the other Jack Wolf knives sitting over here so we can do uh, some comparisons. And uh, we're, go we're gonna do that here in a, in a minute. Why'd I get that one? I don't need that one. That's not a Jack Wolf. But anyway, so this is the OD green, and I love this micarta. Again, these are made in China. We do not know who the manufacturer is, and we will not know because... Uh, ben is not able to tell us uh, because of an agreement with the manufacturer. You got a pinched bolster here with a flute, a single flute, and you have a gray titanium bolster. Now, um, the, the frame is that same gray titanium all the way around. And then you've got this great steel backspacer here, really well finished. Now, the cover material, as you can see, is cut in. Uh, and again, you're not going to feel the seam there just isn't one to be felt. These are hand-finished to make them match. And we've said this all along, guys. And by the way, they're screwed on, so you can, uh, if, if ever there is different cover material, you can uh, take these off and change them. I would not recommend taking the knife apart itself, though, and neither does Ben. Now, the blade is matched uh, to everything else, and then it's machined down. So you have this awesome, well, come on, camera, focus. There we go. You have this awesome seam uh, seamless seam here, if that makes any sense. You don't feel it. Nice uh, landing spot here for your thumb. Uh, it is very nicely done. Now, on a Benny's clip, uh, by the way, which is modeled after Lanny's clip, it is not, this one is not a hollow grind. This is a saber, I believe. Uh, you have uh, your nail nick back here, and you have your swedge up here. Now, if you don't know much about a Lanny's clip, 
Uh, it is patterned, uh, it, excuse me, this Benny's clip is patterned after a Lanny's clip, which is a Tony Bowes, rest in peace, uh, design. Uh, and so it looks very much like anybody would do a Lanny's clip uh, in its Ben's interpretation. You do have a nice uh, turn up at the nose that gives it, uh, even though it's a clip, it gives it that look of maybe a Persian or an upswept. Um, you do have a really nice um, sharpening choil there. Very well done. Jack Wolf on this side, M390 over here. You have the satin going down the blade there, and you have a stone wash on the flats. Just looks stunning. Now, I'm told this is super, super thin uh, behind the edge, and all I can tell you is, whoa, that I'm dropping stuff left and right. That's what I'm going to tell you. Um, I, all I can tell you is that translates into a very slicey blade. Uh, I am not putting a lot of pressure. I'm letting the knife do the work. And as you can see, it just cuts. It's leaving good, clean cuts here. Uh, no problem whatsoever. Uh, and you can see the pieces of cardboard. Uh, good and cleanly done. It just, it's it's phenomenal. It's a great knife. This is not just a pretty knife to stick in your pocket. These are workhorses. And this particular one is very much so. I think it's, I can't remember what he said it is behind the edge, but it's very, very thin behind the edge. Uh, walk and talk. All right, let's do this. Let's do it a couple times. Um, I would call that about a six and that about a six and a half, like a five and a half and a six. Uh, that's, that's what I feel. Um, and then, you know, you can use the, uh, the nail nick. Um, I prefer on, on these to pinch it. That's what I do. Uh, very well done. Uh, nice and smooth. I mean, it just feels great. Centered as usual. Uh, they're, they're just finished so well. And it's why I don't, everybody wants to argue with me on the price. Not everybody, but some people do guys. This is not, um, th these are hand finished and hand done and you got all the stuff that comes with it. The slip, uh, the, the tin, the artwork, everything that comes with it. It's an experience to get one of Ben's knives and that's what you're paying for. And then you get a phenomenal knife on top of it with this beautiful M390, this great titanium, the finishing, uh, everything else. And I, yeah, I don't have zero problem with the blade, with the price. And so that's, that's just me. And again, if you do, uh, then you probably shouldn't get one. <laughs> so, uh, this is a Lanny's clip pattern. It's an olive drab, uh, green micarta, canvas micarta. Integral bolsters and liners made of 6AL 4V bleed bleed blasted bead blasted titanium. Wow, polished titanium torques on the on the hardware. The Bowler M390 is a steel. The closed is 3.95. Now this is a little. This is probably the biggest one he's done. We'll look here in a minute. Uh, and uh, three inch blade, 2.7 inch cutting edge. The stock is 0.12. The weight is 3.1 ounces. And, of course, they are made in China. So let's get this out of the way, and let's start rolling through some comparisons. So the first one I want to drop uh, is the um, the uh, Sharpshooter Jack. Now, the Sharpshooter, I'm going to put this over here. The Sharpshooter is the first knife Ben did, and you can see this is a little bit bigger on both ends than the Sharpshooter. Where is my Midnight? I have got so many out here. All of them. Okay, so here's the Midnight Jack, which is also a larger one. And again, uh, it's going to be slightly smaller. It's very, it's very close, but ever so slightly smaller. Now, um, let's see. What's uh, let's um, no, let's not do that one. Let's do. Where are you? There we go. Here is the uh, laid back. I mean, excuse me, the K9 Jack, just for. Uh, that, so there you go, guys. There's four of Ben's knives, uh, just sitting here all great for you, uh, to see that comparison. Now let's take, uh, the three other ones off here and leave just the Benny's clip. And just for those of you that know another knife better, we're going to put a Ontario rat two out here. 
Uh, and you can see it's a little bigger in, well, hold on, let's get the pivot lined up. It's slightly bigger in the handle and the blade than the Wrap 2, and it's going to be quite a bit smaller probably uh, than the Wrap 1 on both ends, but that gives you your comparison there. So very, very cool. And just because I have it in the pocket today, and I think it's cool to put my knife with Ben's knife, there is your pinion, which is an 8-inch knife. Uh, there is the Tempest Knives pinion as a comparison, and so you can see. Now, again, I think Ben Ben feels like for a large slip joint, uh, this is very much, uh, you know, ab about the size it should be. I mean, and I think he's right. Now, let me show you real quick here. Um, so in hand, the ergos on this one are fantastic. You have a great four-finger uh, you know, grip here, you put your thumb up here and it is great. Now you can come up here very easily. You're on that swedge, but it's not bad. Or you can come up here and do like this for carving. I haven't used one of these for carving yet. And I need to do that because I love a slip joint for carving. Uh, really, really great. So there it is guys. Now these are available. Uh, if you're seeing this after the fact, then they're already either available or gone. But if you're seeing this before, which is when I'm going to post it, uh, uh, September 16th, 2022, at all the dealers, I'll put the list in the um, in the in the description, and these will be available um, after 2 p.m. Eastern on the 16th of September, 2022. So there you go. So beautiful, beautiful knife, and I am running way long, but I did all kinds of comparisons. I did cutting. Uh, this is a long knives fast video, but I love these knives, guys. Uh, I got to tell you, um, you know, obviously I've told you my favorite now is the K9, and my second favorite is uh, the um, uh, the Midnight, and and I the Bennies is right there with with all the rest of them. Then they're all so close, guys. It's like it's like splitting hairs to get here. So. Again, be looking for these. The fat carbon ones will go very fast. The camo carbon, the fat carbon. Uh, so be ready. 2 p.m. Eastern, uh, Friday the 16th. And there you go. So thank you guys so much. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment down below. And thank you so much for your support and for all you do for the channel and for watching the Knives Fast channel.